This live broadcast, remember to follow it live on our social media platforms at TV47KE on Facebook and YouTube and TV47 News on X. The hashtag is to the point at an Odide underscore. And uh, remember to also send in your uh, your feedback at 224047. Uh, sign language interpreter tonight is Catherine Simaloy. My name is Anne Odida. Let's get started. Now, following the fast uh, the fire that broke out at Hillside School, destroying a dormitory and leading to the deaths of 21 students so far, various leaders have continued to express a range of opinion about the incident, with some announce, announcing specific measures to prevent such tragedies in the future. Our reporter, Quinto Afula, has more. The tragedy which has left the nation in a state of fear mixed with grief, at the same time revealing that many boarding schools do not meet the required safety standards for students. <laughs> Mombasa's Governor Abdul Swamad Nasir has announced that inspection of the condition of school dormitories in all schools across the county will begin tomorrow, stating that all school staff and learners will be trained on how to handle fire emergencies. <laughs> Mombasa kuwafanyia free analysis bila ya malipo yoyote kwa shule kujua kama kuna fire escape kuna fire extinguishers na kuweza kuwapatia ile basic firefighting skills wale watoto na walimu on his part narox governor patrick olentutu has called on parents to take the lead in advising their children citing that incidents of fire are often caused by rogue students <laughs> Bishop Anthony Meheria of the Catholic Diocese of Nyeri has sent condolences to the families of the victims, urging all Kenyans to stand in solidarity with those who have lost their loved ones. When tragedy strikes is a moment of unity, is a moment that we seek solidarity. It is a moment we should come together around our brothers and sisters, every single Kenyan, wherever you are in praying, that you may pray for these young ones, you may pray for their families, you may pray for this institution that is clearly at this moment in the state of shock. Kuombea familia za wote ambao kwamba wameathirika na janga hili ya kwa hawako peke yao Starting tomorrow, the nation will observe three days of mourning for the young champions with the Kenyan and East African flags being flown at half-mast. Quinto Wofula.